Hey, good morning everybody. This is Brittany of Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to keep my voice very low because we are catching a bobcat this morning. Malaya bobcat, rehab bobcat, is going to be set free today. So we have our crew here. We have Nisha, Karma, and Erin, and Jamie going in with nets to be catching. And then our film crew, myself, Lauren, and Afton. So please share this and please help explain what people are watching because I'm just going to show you the action and not be narrating from here on. <laughs> So say if we can close this door. Alright, cool. Alright, she bolted and she's now at the medium section that we need her to be in. You can see the release crate over there.
Hey, bunny and your babe. Just turn around, lady. Right behind you. fighting that she does not realize that there's an escape hole right behind her. <laughs> We're giving you a shelter. Oh, oh so close. Oh, there you go. Oh, she's so fixated on you. Yeah. It was your death or nothing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. She's like, nope. Nope. <laughs> she popped back out. She's like, I'm not done yet. <laughs> in her transport box. We just have to get the ratchet strap and get her secured in there. And then we will load her up in the van. We'll be taking her up front to the hospital and we'll get everything weighed. We'll put her release signs on and then we will head out. Yeah, I was so like, did we not notice that that little section was open? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, let's see if the van is here. So, yep, the van is here. We just got to get her secured in there. So we'll do a little recap. Um, there's still a bunch of bobcats out here. We still have summer and autumn in this first enclosure, Kahira and Birdie. In the second enclosure, we just caught Malaya out of this enclosure. And that very last one down there is where winter bobcat is. So you can see everybody's a little on high alert. Autumn and summer are up on top of their shelves there. Kahira and Birdie are nowhere to be seen. I will let you guys know that Kahira and Birdie were working on releases for them. I can tell you that we will be separating them soon because we want to make sure that Birdie is eating enough before her release and Kahira likes to eat literally everything so we want to give her enough time to eat on her own. Also we will be releasing them at different sites. Their territories will cross one another but we're not technically releasing them together. So we'll have more data which will be good, and more territories that are monitored by the collaring, which is really cool. So we're just getting the van ready. I'm gonna make some room for the transport cage, and then we take nets with us, a push pull, so that if Malaya refuses to leave, yeah, we have the push poles, right? Yep. So for a little recap on Malaya herself, Malaya came in in November and this one stands out to me a lot because Jamie and I were in Belize and we were heading home and we were airport to airport while getting updates from Carol about this bobcat. Carol went and picked up Malaya. Aaron was the only staff member here that night when she arrived. So Aaron named her Malaya, which means free, which is amazing because we were really worried that it wouldn't come full circle and she might not live up to her namesake, but today is the day. And so, um, the next day, Gail drove her to a specialist for an MRI and a spinal tap, and we were worried it was like toxo or meningitis or something uh, very scary. It was all inconclusive, a um, number of antibiotics and steroids, and within a couple of days, she was like a totally normal bobcat again, which was awesome. <laughs> 
So now we've just been fattening her up and letting her build strength and now she's ready to go. Thank you guys very much for all of the donations and everyone who has sponsored Val along the way. I think there's been some confusion as to why we need sponsorship cat kits for cats that are being re-released into the wild. And that's because quite honestly the last year and a half to almost two years have been unprecedented <laughs> cases, just mind-boggling cases that have cost us so much money in vet care, medication, and all of those types of resources to get them um, healthy and <laughs> back on their feet. And there's a lot of people that have a special connection when they sponsor a cat. So we really thought by individualizing it, I mean, of course you can donate to the general funds as well, but if you want the photographs of the cats and the species information and rescue stories and various things like that, that is why we offer that option as well. that she arrived and needed MRIs and spinal taps and all of those things. You guys really help her make a full recovery and be able to have this opportunity to return to the wild. Feels like every single rehab that comes in is more expensive than the last. We're gonna head up to our on-site hospital and we'll get her weighed. I will try to give you guys a close-up view of her. It's not always possible. Oh, cart likes to just randomly stop now. You guys might have to push me out of the way. This part just straight like died. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it, like it sputters, but it won't go anywhere. Perfect timing. Yeah. All right, well. can literally push it over where the squirrels are. Oh my gosh. Might have to steer, yeah. Bad timing. Huh? It is <laughs> really bad timing. It's been acting funky for weeks. We fix it and then it does it again. At least you got here. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I'll have to hitch a ride with you guys. Perfect. So we were supposed to go this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, that. As long as he can get by. Party house. That's all I care about. Yeah. I wish I could like shoot it. I know. <laughs> He's just gonna have to make it work. <laughs> yeah, he can get by. Alright, now I just gotta throw all my stuff on your cart. What can I grab for you? I just wanna make sure that's not gonna fly open. Can you connect that piece? Thanks. Get my keys. I'm not gonna want to forget this, probably. Yeah, I probably don't want to leave <laughs> that out here. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you can just set all that like below the net. Oh, thanks. <laughs> all right. All right. Part two. Right. <laughs> Alright, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many lives this golf cart has left. We have, we've even sent it out for like weeks at a time and it comes back and it's good for a couple months and then it's just not good anymore. What's a road trip like? Alright, rather have been here on site with my golf cart than it's anything else really today, good. so. She's a great, great cat for hiding. She will definitely make you walk around her enclosure like six times to find her, which is exactly what we want. So the last part of our journey, we've already netted her. She's in a transport crate. We always take them up to the hospital and weigh them so that when we get back, we can weigh the crate again, know exactly how much uh, the cat weighed at the day of release. I don't go live from, li from the uh, release sites anymore because there's usually zero connection whatsoever and everybody gets mad at me. So <laughs> I will video it and share it um, when we're safely on our way back. better view of her Kimba.
so humid. I think it's bringing a cold front too. Like mm -hmm. we're gonna see 50s and high in the 70s instead of the 80s, almost 90s that we've been seeing. Yeah. Hi lady, where's everybody going without you? <laughs> she loves a good parade. Mm -hmm. Anytime that there's just a bunch of people or a bunch of transport cages. grab all my stuff off when I shut down the live before we leave so thanks for the ride <laughs> oh lordy sorry it's my fault we're late my golf cart just died right in the middle of the road we literally had to push it out of the way for Victor to even get the cat up here I'm like this this is great so my golf cart lives in rehab next to the squirrel case. <laughs> I'm ready to push it into the lake whenever you guys are. Thank you. And yeah, you'll probably have to show me how to view the these are the extra parts. Okay. And there's just like a manual swing. Oh, I'm just talking to random oh, people on the internet. That karma oh, thinks I'm over here talking to myself. <laughs> I'm like, nope, 316 no, people. I'm talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving that for the road trip. <laughs> from everybody and take my mask off. It is brutally hot out here. I have to let Jordan know where my golf cart lives now. There's the van. So I think this early next week we'll be moving Kahira into Malaya's now empty cage. So that will be a way for us to separate Kahira and Birdie, give Birdie some time to eat on her own. We'll be um, cleaning up that enclosure all weekend so that we can move her next week.
Oh, I see it. I see it. Good. Go in that, get in that Jeep and go home with her. <laughs> All anyone saw. Um, I have unused tongs on my cart. You might, we might want to put it in the tongs. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, after her, after her attitude. Will it fit through the little push push that push. side holder on one side? Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, it should. She thinks of all of us. It's so. funny. I literally just said, do you mind if I get a little? Never mind. Good job. <laughs> Good job. I'll stay back here. Thank you guys very much for supporting her through her whole journey. You can find her bio page, bigcatrescue.org slash Malaya. She is going to go for it. So we are definitely going to be shooting video and photo, hopefully with weather permitting. So thank you again for all the sponsorships for Malaya and all of the donations for her. Thank you. 